Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at PD, which is previously known as Watch GPT. It's basically a chat GPT client for your Apple Watch. Um, there have been plenty of shortcuts that have basically attempted to do this before using your API key. This, in my opinion, is a very well designed and more intuitive way to do it, much simpler, and you've got a beautiful complication as well there. Um, just a little description here from the developer. Got to give some props to the developer. Hedy van der Ploeg. Hopefully I haven't butchered that uh, pronounce, Dutch pronunciation, but uh, yeah, big respect, man. Uh, it's a great app, and we're gonna give a little demonstration. Uh, I've chosen to use my screen mirroring for the Apple Watch, just so you can basically see a little bit better the text output, as opposed to just moving my wrist really close to the camera. Okay, let's go ahead now and ask it a prompt. So let's do something like write me a poem about basketball as if it were written by Arnold Schwarzenegger because why not test out the creative capabilities. Now this does use the GPT 3.5 engine. Um, there is an update coming soon, which will be able to use GPT 4. Let's have a quick read here. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, you got some Terminator references there, trying to mimic the language that I believes Arnold Schwarzenegger would use, but it's brilliant entertainment value there, good creativity. Obviously, the natural language processing coming in handy there. Let's do a little bit more technical, some more practical, maybe a right simple Java program that flips a coin. thinking and here we have it great it's got all the import classes it's got the function there the random int generator I mean you're outputting a little program straight from your Apple watch in the coding language you can do any coding language not just Java you can do Python C++ Kotlin I mean pretty impressive stuff not gonna lie and obviously that's the chat GPT brain at hand there, but well done to the developer for leveraging this in such a clean interface. Now let's ask another one. Maybe what's the difference between a cappuccino and a latte and a macchiato, why not? And there you have it, showing the difference between those caffeinated beverages. Now let's just ask Siri the same question to see by comparison what we'd get. Now, as you can see here, Siri's outputting web results. Now, that's okay, and you can still access those web pages, but basically it's showing the limitations of Siri compared to ChatGPT. And yeah, that's it for the demonstration. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks.